Hi, I'm Julie Andrews Creek, and I'm a mom, single mom of two kids. Wyatt, he's 16, and Avalon, she's 12. Um, I am the chief compliance officer for a home health care company that's in Buffalo and in New York City. And um, I have family in Canada. I moved here about uh, 19 years ago. Um, I have been a part of Christ United Church for three years. Um, and I live just down the street from the church, so I'm part of this community too. So initially, I mean, obviously disconnected from my from my family. Um, my parents and my sister and my niece, they live in Canada. The borders are closed. So I have not um, seen my parents since February. My kids haven't seen them since last Christmas. So this is a major disruption for our uh, routine for staying together. We um, haven't been able to be together for our you know, celebrations that we have, birthdays and holidays and none of that. Disconnected um, socially, um, not um, having time with friends, and not just me, but my children also. And so then I can see that. Um, disconnected, um, not being physically present here at the church. Um, and I have definitely developed some anxiety around being in enclosed spaces too. So disconnected from people altogether, really. The, uh, one of the things that my daughter Avalon and I do together is that we um, participate in races together. Well, we'll do 5K races or we'll do triathlon together. And they have been entirely canceled for the year. So uh, it's... Um, you know, we've had to try and figure out ways around, um, you know, feeling that absence or that um, we haven't had, we haven't had those scheduled activities and had to fill in with other things. So I would frequent the gym almost on a daily basis, six times a week, sometimes twice a day. Um, usually there was a day off, but um, that closed and even with the reopening of the gym in the last um, what, month or so, um, I have chosen to freeze my membership because I am not comfortable being in an enclosed space. With so with respect to family, the only means that we have is by technology. And so using, um, you know, video, video calling to each other, um, and we, we use it fairly proficiently. We're trying to get creative around family celebrations. Uh, my dad's 75th birthday is coming up in another couple weeks, and we're trying to figure out a plan for how we're going to have him feel like we're present. Um, Canadian Thanksgiving is in another week. So it's the same, like all the things that we're, we're missing, we're trying to like find workarounds. Um, staying connected to you know the people that I would go to the gym with, or, you know, I, I do um, training with, we've sort of managed to do it in a socially distant way um, where we would meet up and still, you know, stay apart from each other. Uh, you know, we'd still get out on bike rides and we could do it from 20 feet away and still holler at each other and, you know, <laughs> like feel like we're together, but not. Um, so some workarounds that way with, with work, uh, it has been almost entirely on video calling. Uh, we set on a mission to uh, do as many different hikes around Western New York that we could. Um, we found an app and we started on like deciding every weekend where we were going to go. And we took that to our, um, you know, made a decision and where we'd go pack a picnic or if it was a little farther and this was you know, a lot of just exploring and discovery. And then we expand, once we hit all of the hikes that we thought we possibly could hit in Western New York, we started doing them again. And we also decided to take a little family vacation within New York state and go a little, do some more 
exploring. So we went to Finger Lakes and did some more hiking. Um, so that seems to be the thing that we found. Um, and the children are embracing that. So it was a thing that we did occasionally in the past, but became routine. I, I think this will, I think people um, could see where they might have taken for granted the connection that they had with others in the past. And through finding new ways to connect, they might want to stay with those. So, so the hiking, I would like us to stay with, you know, uh, this pattern that we've established um, it's been really good for us. It gives us exercise and fresh air and opportunity to talk and be in nature and be thankful for what we do have. Um, and, uh, you know, my hopes, I guess, uh, that there is some sense of normalcy in the future. Um, I, 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 I clearly would like to see my family. I would love to give my dad a hug. Um, that's something that my children have articulated that they took for granted was being around their grandparents and that they have said that no way will they ever let that, 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 you know, after we have the opportunity again, will they take that for granted? Um, we have taken for granted. We think about how much we've grumbled about, uh, oh, you know, whatever scenario at school that used to exist, well, now we're faced with something much more complicated and I will never take that for granted either. So my hopes for that is that there will be something that helps the children feel connected, that they get the social needs met, that um, that they feel that um, they, it, you know, I guess, that they have made, that they were successful during this time also, not just that we kind of got through it, but that there was some um, really good, good takeaways from it, that there were good beneficial parts to how things changed, that we were on such a high speed um, schedule before, you know, we had to get finished school, feed the, you know, have dinner uh, into the, all the evening activities, the Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, uh, you know, whatever um, athletic activities, all the things, it was a constant sort of hamster wheel. And now we're not doing that. We are savoring moments where it's kind of you know made forced a slow a slow roll you know <laughs> it's okay um.